Hey everyone, and welcome back. So today we're launching a brand new eShop deal series, which is the best Switch games under $5. Now I plan this on being a weekly series that will generally hit midweek. So between Tuesday and Thursday, most likely. And this is really to accompany the general eShop deals video, which by the way, will not be changing in format in any way. And there will still be sub $5 games included in the general eShop deal video. This new series is just because I've had a few requests to really do a dedicated video to the budget side of things and also at the same time to let some games shine that normally don't make the cut in the general overall eShop deals video. Also, I know that gaming on a budget can be a difficult thing. So the point of this video is to make sure that every week, even if you've only got two or three dollars to spend, that you can at least pick up something new on the Nintendo Switch eShop. Now, the last thing is there will be overlapping games with a general eShop deals video because all the games that are sub $5 in that general video will generally carry over to this one. But we will always include new games on this list as well. And I will always have at least a minimum of 10 games in the list. But we're starting out strong with over 20 games in today's list. The last thing before we get started, as usual, if you do like this series and you want it to continue on, please do hit the like button. It really does show your support for the channel. And don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. Now, the first game on our list is going to be Dex, which yes, was part of the Cubic Games sale, but it is still at an amazing price at 90% off for only $1.99. And this is basically a cyberpunk world themed action RPG. And of course, at first, it took me a while to get into this game just because I think lately everything with the word cyberpunk in it sort of has a negative connotation. So I sort of put this one on the back burner of my list to check out from that Cubic Games sale. But after playing it for a few hours, it's actually one of the best experiences coming out of that whole sale. So if you want to have an awesome time in a non-linear, really action RPG generated world, Dex is a great deal at only $2. Now, next on our list, we have another great game at only $1.99, once again, 90% off, and that is Le Grand Legacy, which is an indie-made JRPG. And it is a full-sized JRPG, meaning that you will easily have 40 to 50 hours or more of gameplay out of this game. And currently, at only $2, it is an amazing value, an amazing time to pick this game up, and it is one of the strongest JRPGs to be available currently at under $5. Now, the next game on our list is going to be Pocket Mini Golf, which is currently 20% off, once again, at $1.99. Now, this is an unexpected game that I winded up having a ton of fun with. It's basically mini golf on your Switch. It's self-explanatory, but you know what? It's not a game that you will pour hundreds of hours into, but for a quick game and a little bit of fun here and there, trying out a new course, Pocket Mini Golf was an unexpected, really fun experience. Now the next game on our list is Blazing Beaks, which is a game that generally makes my eShop deals list each and every time it's on sale. It is a totally fun, pixelated twin stick shooter with a rogue light design. And at only $1.99 being 86% off, this is one of my top choices for this week. As usual in my video, I will be putting a top five and you will see Blazing Beaks in that top five for this week because honestly, it is one of the most fun experiences. And on top of it, it has a multiplayer mode if you wanna play two players or more together. Now the next game on our list is once again going to be at that $1.99 mark because it is 80% off and that is Mana Spark. Now this time it is once again a roguelike game, however this time it is an action RPG game style overall. And once again with some beautiful pixelated graphics, the combat in this game however is quite difficult so be ready for a really challenge in Mana Spark, however if you enjoy pixelated graphics roguelite action or RPGs, Mana Spark is another unconturnable game for this week. Now the next game on our list is going to be Akane, 
which is once again 60% off, bringing it down to $1.99. Now, this game has more of an arcadey feel to it with its one hit kill system and basically never ending waves of enemies. But basically, it is a ton of fun and very addicting with a very decent variation of types of weapons that you can use. Once again, another amazing deal coming from that Cubix game sale. Akane has a really, really deep progression system as well. So it's another great game to try out at only $2. Now, next, we move on to Coloro, which is also 80% off, bringing it down to $1.99. Now, Coloro is a puzzle platformer with a really, really beautiful visual aesthetic. And, and only everything is developed around a single action button dynamic. However, don't be mistaken, the game does get quite complex. And Coloro, if you do like puzzle platformers, at only $2 should be a definite pickup for you. Now, the next game on our list is once again at the $1.99 mark because it is 60% off and that is One Strike. Now, if you ever wanted to feel what it was like to be a pixelated samurai, One Strike is the closest experience that you'll ever get, where by the title itself, the game is self-explanatory, everything is decided in one single strike. But what is really amazing about this game is how addictive it becomes. Every time you finish a match, you just have to play one more, one more, and one more. And at only $2, it can bring you to really tons and tons of gameplay hours. So One Strike is another amazing pickup for this week. Now the next game on our list is also at $1.99 because it is 60% off and that is Goblin Sword. Now Goblin Sword is another frequent flyer in my standard eShop deals video just because it is a very solid platformer that has a very simple premise but is tons of fun. Basically, all the mechanics go around which weapon you decide to use, and basically your strategies and your overall gameplay will vary a lot depending on each type of weapon. It has a ton of replay value, and at $2, once again, is an, an amazing, amazing game to pick up. Now, for the next game, we are still at that $1.99 mark because the game is currently 87% off, but we flip total type of gameplay styles and we go for Moto Rush GT the Deluxe Edition. Basically, the Switch doesn't have a lot of motorcycle street racers and at $2 this is a very solid offering. Would I recommend this game at its full price of $16? Maybe, maybe not, but at $2 it is definitely a ton of fun and if you like racing games and you want a switch of pace to have really a motorcycle racer, then Moto Rush GT should be a definite pickup for you for this week at only $2. Now the next game on our list is going to be Dogurai, which is once again $1.99 because it is 60% off. Now this is a game that even at its full price, I recommend everyone pick up. Now I'm a sucker for Game Boy style games, but Dogurai is just an amazing action platformer regardless of the style. Fair warning though, it is quite difficult. So if you do try this game out, make sure that you have a tolerance for more difficult platformers. It is difficult, however fair. I'll throw that in there because it, I don't want it to seem like an impossible game. It is very difficult, but if you put the time to learn the stages and the mechanics of the game, it is very doable. Now the next game on our list at once again, $1.99, 80% off is QYO Blaster. And this is another game that generally always makes the cut in my standard eShop deals videos. Basically, if you've ever played the Parodia series from the NES or Super NES, or if you've played the flying levels of Cuphead, then the visual and overall gameplay style of QYO Blaster will be very, very relevant to you. The only thing I will say is that don't be mistaken, although the levels visually look like the flying levels of Cuphead, it is nowhere near the same level of difficulty. This is more like an arcade shooter level of difficulty. And QYO Blaster is a ton of fun I find for pretty much everyone that's tried it out that I've suggested it to. So this is another really good pickup for this week. So next on our list we have Miles and Kilo, which is just a very solidly done platformer. I would almost say it's like a mix of Mario Brothers meets Adventure Island. And ultimately, it's just 
as I said earlier, a really solid platformer. And at this price, it's better than you normally get for under $5. And basically, if you need any convincing for yourself because the $2 investment, you want to be sure about it before you spend it, the game actually has a free downloadable demo so you can try it out for yourself. But if you like classic retro styled platformers, Miles and Kilo will generally rarely disappoint. Now, next on the list, we're still at that $2 mark and we're really lucky because the $2 mark this week is really, really stacked. Now, this game is 60% off and it is Grizzland. Now, Grizzland might look like an Atari game, but it is a full-fledged Metroidvania. It's maybe not the longest Metroidvania, but at $2, it's really hard to complain. But it is definitely one of the best games you can buy on the Switch sub $5. Basically, if you haven't played Grizzland yet and you like Metroidvanias or even just standard platformers, it is a game that you definitely, definitely need to pick up and need to play. Now, the next game is going to be our last one at the $1.99 mark. After that, we're going to be starting to go up a little bit in price. But that is ATV Drift and Tricks at 94% off, once again, for $1.99. Now, basically, this is another great game that is normally $35. And honestly, at $35, I would say the experience is not necessarily worth it. But at $2, if you like from time to time having some fun with some off-road gameplay, ATV Drift and Tricks is a perfect game to buy at only $2. At $2, this becomes an amazing overall experience to just have some arcade off-road fun. Now, the first game on our list that will be breaking the mold of $1.99 is Gear Club Unlimited at 80% off for only $2.98. Now, this is the kind of game that actually inspired the series that we started today, because basically Gear Club Unlimited is always this close to making eShop deals, but never quite gets there. However, at $3, it's still an amazing value to pick up, especially if you're into racing games that have a slightly more uh, simulation-like gameplay. And basically, Gear Club Unlimited ultimately does turn out to be a one of the best experiences we have for that type of gameplay on the Switch. We have a lot of arcade style racers, but not that many simulation styles. It's not the best we have, but it is still very solid, especially when you pick it up for only $3. Now the next game on our list is going to be Radio Squid. That is at $2.99 because it is 40% off. Look, I said it earlier, I'm a sucker for Game Boy aesthetic games. And basically, Radio Squid, however, is one of the best of these games once again. The only sort of downside to Radio Squid is it isn't long enough. But honestly, when a game at the end makes you feel like, oh my god, the only downside is I would have wanted more of this game, I can only see that almost as a positive thing. Now, the next game on our list is going to be Mystopia, which is currently 35% off, making the game only $3.24. Another really solid pixelated platformer, although once again with some light Metroidvania elements. Now, I actually have a complete review of this game on my channel, so if you want a lot of details, you can actually check that review out. But ultimately, the conclusion is this. The game is has some really solid mechanics and some really fun gameplay, although it is pretty simplistic and very short, about three to four hours on average. However, at only $3.24, I can still say that I was fully satisfied with my experience. Now, the next game on our list is going to be More Dark, that is also 35% off, making it $3.24. And this is another game that I have a full review on my channel. And basically, it is a room-based puzzle platformer where you basically play as a denizen of hell that has to basically catch all the souls that are spread out throughout the different rooms that make up the totality of the game. There are some interesting boss stages that flip up the gameplay a tiny bit, but ultimately more dark is just a really solid experience for anyone looking for a decent puzzle platformer. Now we're getting pretty close to the end of our list, but the last few entries are games that you are definitely not going to want to miss. And the next game you already see on the screen is Metalloid Origin, which is 40% off for $4.19. Basically, this is a retro action platformer, and if you like your Mega Man style gameplay, then you are going to love Metalloid Origin. 
It does have a more linear design than a Mega Man game where you get to choose your stages, but trust me, the variety between the different characters and the gameplay really makes up for it and gives you an overall really great experience. And Metaloid Origin is definitely another one of the top picks for this week. Now, the next game, Child of Light Ultimate Edition, is another perfect example of a game that didn't make the standard eShop deals, but is nonetheless a great, great value and great pickup. And at 75% off for only $4.99, that's what makes it such a great pickup. Now, it has a pretty off the norm type of gameplay. It basically melds platforming with an RPG. Basically, you get through the stages by platforming, but when you encounter an, an enemy, it'll flip to an RPG type battle. But nonetheless, Child of Light is a great overall experience and has an amazing, almost watercolor-like visual design. And it should be definitely a pickup for anyone who's either a fan of platforming or a fan of RPGs. Now, the before last game on our list is going to be Trine 3 which basically is the third entry in the series, but both of the other first games are also on sale and are under $5. But I chose to just focus on the best of the three that are under the $5 mark. And this is really a series that got better with each installment. And there's even a fourth installment that unfortunately currently is on sale as well, but is above the $5 mark. And this one is basically right at it at $4.99 for 75% off. I just want to warn you, there's also the pack of all four games together. I believe that is somewhere around $15. But if you're not ready to make the jump to buy all of the games, I would definitely say start with one of the better ones, either the fourth or the third entry, which we're looking at right here. And if you really love this game, then work your way down to the other entries. But as you get to the first of the entries, you will see that the, they are showing somewhat of an age situation where the games don't play as well as when they first came out. Now, the last entry on our list is going to be an amazing 2D fighting game, which is Blast Blue Cross Tag Battle which is currently 74% off, right at our cutoff mark of $5. Look, if you're looking to get into a new 2D fighting game, Blast Blue is definitely one of the top series that are available currently on the Switch, and Cross Tag Battle is probably the one in this series that has the lowest entry point, meaning that it's the easiest to pick up if you've never played a Blast Blue game before. Basically, it's a crossover also with different anime franchises, and it has a very anime look to it. But ultimately, Blast Blue Cross Tag Battle is an amazing 2D fighter all around, even when it is full price of $20. So right now for $5, it makes it an amazing game to pick up. So that's pretty much it for our first list of eShop deals under $5. So I really want to hear from all of you. How are you liking this series and do you want me to continue on with it? You can always leave the comments down below in the video. Now making this list however did make me realize two things. Number one, the Switch is stacked with deals under $5. And number two, I have a lot of homework for future lists because there were so many games that looked interesting under $5 but that I haven't played yet that I'm definitely going to be diving into that for all the future lists. Now the last thing before we go, don't forget that as I said at the beginning of the video, that the best way to show me that you're liking this content is to hit the like button on the video. Also subscribe to the channel if you aren't already and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when all my future videos come out. And as usual, I hope I'll see all of you in my next video.